Just breathe, just breathe. in advance for all the weirdness you're about to see. Poof the hair. I think it's enough. <laughs> I'm so tired. I love this song. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, I believe it was put there on purpose. Watch me. <laughs> and therefore, I should call management. Wow. I feel like I'm Dolly Parton. Bart, Bart, <laughs> Bart. <laughs> Welcome back to today's video. So, am I a little bit excited for fall? Just a little. In all reality, I do love fall. It really inspires everything in me. I just love the tones and the colors and I just love it. I wanted to give you a olive green fall makeup look. Really, and in truth, this isn't all that green. There's tints of it, but it's not as green as it was. So we had a little difficulty there, but I really hope you like this look. I do have some more coming. This is not very fall themed, but I'm broke and I can't afford fall decor. I really didn't think it would be such a good idea to go grab a pile of leaves outside and just throw them in a corner. Um, but I could if you are interested for the next video. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Let's do this. So first, you guessed it, I'm starting with concealer. I feel like I should just stop putting this in my video because you already know I put concealer on my eyelid and then blend it out because it might look a little strange if I didn't. And then I'm going to set it. So that is the process I always do use. You can use a primer. You can really use whatever you want. You don't have to use anything at all. Although I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> and then... I'm going to use some translucent setting powder. This is absolutely 10,000% unnecessary. <laughs> I didn't know that this wouldn't quite work the way I wanted it to, but pretty much I'm just taking a brush and creating a line of translucent powder. I was hoping that it would clean up the edges of the eyeshadow. It did not, so I'm going to start with eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm just blending those two shades that you just saw in my crease. And then I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and use this shadow, which is Tease. And it's a very cool toned eyeshadow. And blending this on the outer V of the eye, slightly in the crease as well. And then I'm going into this Cargo palette and I'm using Greenland. Oh my word. <laughs> I was really excited to be doing something different. I'm going to be taking this on a flat brush and pretty much packing this all over the eyelid. It is definitely very intense and it was starting to pull a little bit more like a black gray than green. So I'm going to just blend this with one of those transition shades that we use and just blend. Now since I wanted some more green, I'm going in with this Urban Decay shadow and just putting this on the inner part. Oh my word. Now, if you use this shadow with a bright green undertone, it would pull very, like, Tinkerbell green. But if you do a darker shade, it'll go more, like, army green. Little tip for you. Now, I'm going back in with that translucent powder and just cleaning up. That's what I needed to do, so I didn't need to do it in the first place. Now, I'm just going to prime thy face. And then go with L'Oreal foundation, which I love so 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 much And I'm just going to blend this out with a foundation brush In the spirit of blending, I'm now going to blend my concealer And then I'm going to go into this Essence contour powder by far one of my favorite products from Essence and I'm going to contour my face with this It is a wonderful drugstore uh, product. Now I'm going to go into this Morphe blush palette. It's beautiful. And I'm going to apply some blush to my face. Now I'm going to highlight to the heavens and I'm using Becca Champagne Pop and MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade. I'm going to mix the two and just, just get that glow on. Now I'm going to move to the lower lash line just taking the same shades I used in my crease. 
face. Now I'm going to take a brown eyeliner and then fill in my brows. Oh my goodness. I just need to fill my brows. I love doing it and so I'm going to do that and then put some voluminous mascara on my lashes. Now I'm just going to apply a little bit of lip gloss. Wham, bam, we're all done. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one.